Let's start with a story. A story about a woman who, due to an international financial crisis, loses her job. And although she searches for something new, the sacrifices begin to build up. First, she feels the pinch at the market, as rising prices leave her unable to afford staple foods. Then, she loses the ability to pay back her loans. When a family member gets sick, she can't pay for medical treatment. And although she uses her mobile phone to look for work, there are no opportunities to be found. And finally, as her savings dry up, she slips beneath the poverty line. In times of crisis or global shock, this story is repeated hundreds of thousands of times each day, changing people's lives, often for the worse. And the biggest problem is that the true effects of a global crisis only become clear years later through statistics, studies and census data, when the damage is already done. But today, something has changed. Increasingly, a vast number of households have access to mobile phones. Even in the developing world, people use phones for checking market prices, banking, accessing medical information, and looking for work. And when they do, a digital signal is created, in real time. When aggregated, these signals tell a compelling story about how populations are coping in times of stress. For example, the ways in which people add money to their mobile phone accounts can be an indicator of economic well-being. And billions of online food prices can signal price spikes and food shortages at the earlier stages. Meanwhile, publicly shared information on social networks can reveal topics of concern and how people feel about job prospects or their future. And analysis of internet searches can help public health officials detect outbreaks of diseases like the flu or cholera faster than ever before. These new digital signals provide information faster than any survey or census. Once properly anonymized and analyzed, these signals are a powerful tool that provide the ability to understand changes in a population's well-being in real time. Which is why at Global Pulse, together with UN agencies, governments and local communities, we are innovating to learn how digital signals can be used to strengthen international development so that we can make better decisions, understand what is happening while it is still happening get real-time feedbacks about whether our policies and programs are working, and respond sooner while there's still time to act.